So far, we've looked at break even by drawing up the table and drawing a graph and when the sales revenue equals the total cost, that is break even. There is another way that we can work out break even point and we're going to find out about it in a moment. It's called the break even formula. So, first of all, we are going to take the sales price of an item, how much we're selling it for. So in this case, we're going to sell a lovely cake, it's multicoloured, and it's going to sell for £5. Every time I sell one, I will receive £5. Now, I have to pay for the ingredients of this cake, so I then take the variable cost per unit off that cake, because I've used £3 worth of ingredients to make my cake that I sell for £5. So £5 minus £3 equals something we're going to call contribution. Contribution is two pounds, five minus three. But what we will contribute to is the fixed costs of our business. And once they've all been paid off, we will contribute to our profit, which is what we're trying to achieve. So the next stage is we take our fixed costs, all the costs like our rent and our bills and things like that. In this example, we've got 200 pounds worth of fixed costs. We're going to divide it by the contribution, which is two pounds. So what this really means is each cake I sell gives me two pounds. So really, I'm finding out how many cakes I need to sell. So I take my 200 pounds, I divide it by my two pound contribution, and this will give me, I will break even if I sell 100 cakes. If I sell 101 cakes, I will make a profit of two pounds. If I sell 102 cakes, I will make a profit of four pounds. For every cake I sell, I contribute two pounds. First of all, it pays off the fixed costs and then it pays off the break even point. So to work this out for other situations, you need to know the sales price, the variable cost per unit, and then the fixed cost and you'll be able to do it.